stromatolites are evidence of ancient bacterial communities. Most likely in this case, they're evidence of ancient cyanobacterial communities. Cyanobacterial are special bacteria that photosynthesize. So they use energy from sunlight to live, which means they have to live in an ocean shallow enough they can get energy from the sun. When a cyanobacterial community grows, it forms a mat, a sticky layer. And that stickiness comes from all of those cells living together in one place. And as sediment falls down through the water column, as it naturally does, that sediment will stick onto the sticky cyanobacterial mat. The cyanobacteria don't like that because that blocks out their sunlight. And so they will grow up through that sediment and form a new mat on top. And as this happens through time, they will form these distinctive layers that we see in the stromatolites here. At the same time, they can also precipitate minerals like calcium carbonate within their layers. So stromatolites can grow through precipitation and by accretion. Now, as you'll see, it's not simply one big flat bacterial mat growing up and forming layers. We have these very distinctive round hummocks of different sizes all over this bed here. And scientists are still trying to figure out the exact spacing and the sizes of different stromatolites and why they form the way they do. But what we think happens is that one little area of cyanobacteria will grow up towards the sunlight. And they'll sort of crawl on top of each other, trying to get closer and closer to the sun to get more and more energy. And so they'll start forming these individual communities, which then get fossilized and lithified and turn into the stromatolites that we see today. And one of the ways that we know about how stromatolites form is that in rare cases they still exist in the modern, in places like Shark Bay, which is also coincidentally in Australia. And the reason why it's very rare to have stromatolites today is that if you are a uh, herbivorous snail who likes to eat cyanobacterial mats and you're crawling along the seafloor and you come across these guys, you've hit the jackpot, free lunch. So because of animal grazers, stromatolites today would really stand no chance. But here, in the cryogenian, we don't have any animal grazers, and so stromatolites can flourish in shallow seas all over the world. 